In this next example, what we're going to do is add something called an operation to a node. And what this will allow us to do is to have the administrator of a site select the nodes that they want to operate on, and then our operator function will then take care of manipulating the node in some way. Now there are already bulk operations for things like unpublishing nodes, deleting nodes, or changing a user for nodes. In this one, what we're going to do is set the backup user to blank. So we're going to clear out the backup user when this bulk operation is performed. Go ahead and jump to your module directory, and we're going to open up the seventh step, which is called adding bulk user operations. Go ahead and copy all of the code, and paste it over the code that's currently in your stuff.module file. To add an operation to nodes, it takes two steps. The first is adding the operation with a hook node operations function. And the next step is defining that function that gets assigned as a callback in that operation and then performing some action on those nodes in that function. So all of the new code that we've added to this file is down here at the very bottom in these two functions. Let's go ahead and take a look at hook node operations first. So this is an implementation of that function. So we're calling it stuff node operations. It doesn't take any parameters. And you just return an array that contains the name of the operation or the key of the operation. And then we're setting it two values. The first is the label, which will display in the select box that allows us to perform the operations. And then the callback, which is the function that will get called when this item is selected. Let's go ahead and save this module and take a look at where this will display on our site. Go ahead and jump back to your browser and click on the content item. This is in admin slash content. The operations are gonna display here under update options. And you see we have several options here. And because we saved our module, we now have our new one, which is called clear backup user information. Okay, let's jump back to the code. We have one more function here, which is the operation itself. We're calling it stuff clear backup users. And this takes a single parameter, which is nodes. And this is an array of node IDs rather than the objects themselves. And so for each node, what we're going to do is delete the item in our stuff backup table that corresponds to this node ID. So we're looping through the nodes and pulling each item out as a, an ID and running DB delete, which will run a delete query. We're setting the table to stuff backup and a single condition of node ID equals the node ID that we just pulled out of this nodes array. And then we're executing this. And then finally, we're setting a message here to alert the user that that item was deleted the backup user information has been deleted. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure that the module is saved and jump back to the browser. And let's select our item. We'll select a few items, but in particular, at least one item that where a backup user has been set so we can watch this in action. And we're going to select clear backup user information from the update options dropdown and then click update. We see our message above that says the backup user information has been deleted. And if we go to edit this item, which had backup user information before, you see that the backup user input is blank.